you like real world maps? No, not really. I find them to be quite unbalanced. Not that I, I can't say I've like dived into them and looked at them properly. Baltic, Britons. Guess we're gonna see some galley micro. This Britons is good for like in case you find sheep late, which I did now. Then you catch up really fast because of the sheep bonus. But like even this, this was like against Ryut, Jordan, Yo, one of the best players on water. And if they found sheep right away, this is a really big hit to the economy. Just getting those sheep in late. And gamble that the wood is good up here. I didn't like the gold being blocking this wood. Should be okay with this. Yep. Wait, am I dropping frames? No, oh, it's not be lagging, it's him. At least you guys can't suggest stupid strategies like fast castle. Uh, What's the name of those sh Viking ships? Uh, longboats anymore. Britain's is my favorite ship. No, no, it's not. I'm not that much of a fan of Britain's. I don't know why people think I like Britain's so much. I mean, they're fun compared to some other ships, but they're not my favorite. The reason people think so is probably because I've seen me play it in the balance tournament. It's rather because I think they're a good Civ rather than that they're my favorite. Magnus Carlsen reached 28, yeah. But he always has players around 27, right? So he has players he can pick good points from. To get like 27k on Ubli, really hard because the highest players you play against are usually 2k2, 2k3. Oh, too many on wood now. Oh, I, I have all my sheep now. I gotta find a... Oh my god, I haven't located my boars properly. Sloppy Darkish for me, should stop reading chat. Yeah, Mayans is one of my favorites. Mayans hunts strong... See if there are strong economies. Uh, Mayan Sons. Yeah, I think those two are my favorites to play, at least in 1v1. In team games, I like Mongols as well. Hans Mongols. Pocket position on, for example, Arabia. I always like Franks, for example. Spanish. You have a lot of different sieves that uh, are fun to play from pocket positions. Oh, great fish. Okay, so do we know where his stock is? I'm gonna send my uh, scout back to defend my villager when I click up. A lot of times people send your sc scout forward, so you either need to have your scout in your own base to defend your dock villagers, or you need to send them forward pressure on him. Those are extra sheep, so I'm gonna take those. Now the question is, will we be able to up from this? We took our boars really late. Let's hope... Oh no, we couldn't. Rip, rip in pieces. Now we got up. Not too bad, we're pretty far. Or ducks, I think. We should be fine in with a slightly poor start. That's not ideal, I wanted a fully health villager to make the ducks. Ready. 
I think he's gonna up before. I did. I wasn't paying attention to scores. I should have done that as well. So I could have known who's gonna up first. Get the footage first. Seems I'll be first. A little bit surprising since I had such a poor start by my standards. Can't afford a third duck, it's not ideal. Should have been making our third duck before we make two more galleys, but I think we can't afford it. So we're gonna have to make two extra galleys first. He's crushing as well. At least we know that. I don't want to go forward yet because I am not too sure how my opening is compared to his. Should have had a, another house <coughs> sooner. We need a house. Repair that guy. Okay, we're pleased. We have six galleys, we're gonna start. Oh, we won't mean cheeky bastard. Try to micro some now. Yes. Where are you, sir? Fletching, I'm gonna check. Yeah, I gotta get power now because I gotta use the advantage that I might have with Fletching. Yeah, Fletching, he does not. Might be able to get some nice shots. Going nice. Oh, yeah, had one low HP there he got. Person is to follow. So he seems like a decent water player. Oh, if he can snag that, that would be nice. Nice. I feel that like his numbers are lacking a little bit, but I think he's still committing to water. It's looking like it. His timing is a little bit off. Timing with the stop micro. And the way he moves his galleys. Tell. Just jump on him. We have so many more galleys. Now the question is, is he committing to uh, water or is he... Just going up and going land, I mean.
gonna go for my fish now. Gonna prepare a barracks and do some crossbows just in case. Never know if he's on actually doing some on land. Since we have an adv advantage on water, I prefer to make sure we have possibility to counter him on land as well. It comes to that. Still making galleys though, which is a little bit surprising. Add some fish because I do think we have pretty much one water already. Oh, he's stonewalling. those but I guess that's okay. Should be able to trap those guys now. So 100% 100 uh, control the water for sure. Make a transport. Not gonna bother upgrading war galleys. Sneaky bastard. You could take those galleys as well because they're still low HP. So TC on this side now, I'm gonna put the, those um, archers on the right side, defend there, in case he has a landing or sneak. Oh, what's this? Okay, just a scout. He knows I'm coming now. Oh, I didn't upgrade. Okay, he does have archers here. too much now. Since he has that tower and he can't defend this. He's just second that for some units. It's fine by me. We have a pretty solid grip on this game. By that I mean I think he's super dead. Should be game indeed. Should be. Oh, not ideal. Oh well. Let's make a siege workshop, just clear that away, get that out of the way. Probably gonna make siege himself. Uh, 
I'm feeling longbows here, boys. Somewhere down the road. Not sure if I agree with this, unless he has ballistic. Why do they keep shooting over there? Okay, I think this is Pike. See the way he patrol those crossbows? It's a Pike patrol. So I'm pretty sure I'm playing Pike now. Sorry for giving away your smurf. Sneaky. Got ballistics though, so I should clean him up very quick, I reckon. Yeah, he shouldn't be able to deal any more damage to me, and we should be able to clean him up as soon as I get in reach of his crossbows. They're still committing though. Yeah, now he should be dead. I'll bait him forward so we can use our. Oh, he was hiding sheep from me. Such a lamer boy. Nice, I got a good shot. The score is kind of telling the story of this game at the moment. <laughs> Let's see. Just save now for going up, make a forward cast so we can break the walls. Start producing longbows. Pretty straightforward game from now, really. It's not too much to explain or say. I'm ahead in, ahead in economy, I'm ahead in tech, I'm ahead in military. So, it is pretty much waiting for me to I mean, waiting for the inevitable. his ballistics that's something you can know like the second is arrow shoot even though he has ballistics if you click the other way and change direction then he can't hit you so it's helpful to know 
See if he's trying to go back on water. GG. Yeah, his economy is just way too far behind. But I think we figured out that it was Pike based on the Archer Micro down here. At least we know that now. <coughs> How's the score on the bottom right calculated? It's all about resources, exploration, kills, military, everything. It's pretty much like a total. It's Spaden. Oh, you sure? Okay, maybe it is Spaden. Maybe they both. He has inherited the Pike Micro.